Hello, today we're going to modify your roller weight and in this video I will show you how! Hello and welcome, today we're going to modify the roller weight on your scooter. This one a brand new roller weight. But there is many many ways that you don't have to buy a roller weight if you want to modify them. Because uh, there is a lot of tricks that you can play and I will show you how to do these tricks now. Now, your scooter that is a 150cc GY6 scooter at the best capacity, at the best running condition we run at the best at 7500 RPM now if your scooter at full throttle is going lower than 7500 slightly lower your weight uh, are a little too heavy okay now if your Scooter at full throttle is running above 8,000, 8,200. Your weight, roller weight on your variator, are a little too light. So now you need to find the little sweet spot. That's what we say, you know. So you need to find the right amount of weight, roller weight, on your scooter. Now my favorite are between 12 to 14 grams, but now. If you go lower than that, your your scooter will vibrate too much, will, too much will raise too much the rev, and will you will feel a little vibration on your scooter. If you go on the 12 to 14 grams, you will feel a lot better. Now you will have the best performance at 11 to 12 grams for a 150 cc scooter. Okay. Now, if you don't really want to buy right here the weight. Or maybe you're really anxious to find a, a way to modify this roller weight or the roller weight that you have on your scooter there is an easy solution and I will show you how to do that right now okay to modify your roller weight first of all you have to remove your roller weight from your scooter that is located on the lower left side of the scooter there is a CVT cover the transmission of your scooter in the front part of that you will find the variator this one is a variator but you know the front part that you're gonna see or the variator is the fan or the variator right here that's what you're going to see now behind that there is another cover that's where all the weights are right here you know you're gonna find all the little weights uh, behind uh, the variator now you have to remove that part of the variator to uncover all the weights that you have, right? Now to remove this part right here, you really need to have an impact wrench to remove that part right here because this part right here really moving when you're turning. So the best one is to have an impact wrench. Right after that, you're going to see the little weights that are behind here, okay? Now you need to have a starting point. You need to know really what's the weight that you have at the moment on your scooter okay so what you do you're going to need a scale right here that's a scale that you can buy anywhere you know online so you can have an idea okay you need to have grams grams so you're going to find out what is the weight of your roller weight or if you have a sliders I really know a big fan of sliders they're slightly different instead to roll this one they slide when the variator open up okay so i'm not really a big fan of this one they someone say they're really the better than the roller weights but i'm kind of like an old style person and i like the roller weight better now to really modify these weights uh, the roller weights there is many many choices many many things you can do now one of my favorite choice is first of all to place the scale on grams and weight the roller weight that I have on grams okay so you just take the weight and you place it right here on the scale that is this one is a 10 this one is a 10 gram roller right here perfect 10 gram roller Okay, unfortunately slightly too much light during the day with digital scale okay so you might not see really good 
the weight on this scale. But what you can do, there is a secret product that you can use to place more weight on your roller. And right here I have a special product for you to add to your rollers to add a little more weight. And this one is uh, aluminum foil. And you can find it anywhere in any store that you like. Even at the dollar store sometimes you find aluminum paper. Now, if you know that this weight is a 10 gram and the best perfect weight for these rollers to run on 150cc scooter is a uh, 12 to 14, you should get at least uh, a 2 grams of paper, you know, of foil right here. This foil is very light, okay, so you're just gonna get your scale right here and you're going to place this foil right here, you know, and you wanna see, this one is a 6 gram, it's already too much, you know what, you wanna weight this foil. Okay, now you really want to have a, between two to four grams. This one is three. So you need to find the right weight that you want to add to your rollers. Now, right here we have, uh, let's see, two. That's what I really want, a two grams or aluminum foil paper. Now, right after you weigh this one, you're going to get your roller right here. You're going to need the, a bolt. You need to find the bolt that is on this threaded part. It's going to be about 10 millimeter wide, okay? Now this bolt has to be flat. You don't want anything pointy, okay? Because this one is to press the aluminum inside here in a good way and then it's not going to move now you can tear this one apart a little bit it's not really small pieces you want to make a little squares okay so you're going to make a little square like that and you're going to place it inside the roller wing now little by little with this one you have to place this one inside now you're going to get the, the hammer right here Put the paper inside. You want to push this one with the hammer like that. You can press inside a little more of the foil. You can do a little bit at a time. Don't put too much foil all at the same time because your roller weight will not take the pressure, okay? So slightly you have to be gentle too, okay? Now, make sure you do that on the border. You take this one on the board, like a cutting board, so you can do the job in a perfect way, okay? You don't want to damage any wood, or... okay? Now, this one is one easy way to add more weight to your roller weight. Now, this one, if you look at the bottom, it's nice and flat. Now. Make sure at the end you're going to make it perfect. You know, you can push a little more on the other side. You wanna center this weight in a good way, okay? So, little by little, you can add more weight to your roller weight if you're really in the rush, okay? Now here I made another one, right here. That it looks pretty good. And this one is a, a 12 gram. So from 10 and went to 12 gram. So this one will make a big change of the performance of your scooter when you're riding a full throttle. You're really gonna look at the RPM of your scooter and you're going to see that you have a better performance in the scooter. Now this one, after you're done, you make sure that this part right here, the aluminum foil, looks great and it's not moving if you like you can place a little bit of uh, glue that is a crazy glue or you can top it off with uh, some kind of hard glue like a JB weld so you can close the top part right here 
and nothing is going to move okay you can use a crazy glue gel right here so you're going to close this area or you can even keep it like that because when you keep it like that it's nice and pressed so it's not going to move now this one I don't think it's going to last you a long time but you know it's going to work for a little bit to improve, improve the performance of your scooter now right after you're done with all this uh, roller that you modify yourself uh, you can place them inside the variator now make sure that they look good make sure that they roll pretty good okay it's very important that they perform okay now when you place them all in see this one is modified to a 12 gram you can place it right here now if you want to you can also place one 12 gram one 11 gram on the side or 10 gram on this side right here and then right here you can place a 12 gram and right here a 10 so one different from another one you can play like that to reach the top performance of your scooter so 12 gram right here and right here you're going to put it 10 this one is a 10 right here this is empty this one is a 10 after you place this one you can place this one right here you have a 12 so by mix and matching this variator weights you're going to reach the perfect performance now another way that you can modify the weights is uh, if you want to have a lower weight the best way to modify and have a lower weight is to have a precision driller with a drill bit okay now the best one is to have the grip vise or something that is going to help you to hold the grip of these weights okay now gently you need to have a drill bit that is at least 10 millimeter okay at that point you're going to you're going to grind the center part of these weights gently without breaking them now i understand it's a little these little weights are kind of fragile so we have to be careful when you remove weight a little less careful when you add more weight with the foil okay because when you add more weight it's slightly easier to take the pressure of the weight to don't break when you remove some weight you're going to have these weights to become a little more fragile now this one is a 10 millimeter but if you find something like that that is close and this one is a 17 if you have it if you drill a big hole or a hole inside here with this one you're going to have less you know less problem because the structure of this one is a lot harder than this one that they are 10 grams okay now that's one way to remove uh, and shave off some of the weight uh, just by drilling the hole larger okay now you can have this one with a firm vise and go down with the driller like that so you can uh, have a little more stability and do a better job okay so this one is something that you can do okay i just show you how to modify your roller weight on your scooter with just a little bit of aluminum foil you can modify the performance of your scooter it's really something easy to do the only thing is real hard to do is to remove your variator from your cvt cover and all the transmission that is going to be a little more work but when you have those weights out you can add more weight easily now if you like you can buy some weight online on amazon or anywhere online and you can buy the specific weight that you really love but if you are really in the rush eh, and you want to get some performance out of your scooter, that's what you really can do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel anytime. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.